We're testing five different molds from Discraft and as many plastics as we could find to find out just how differently they fly. Why? Because the plastic is in the details. Hey everyone, it's Greg from Six Sided Discs and happy holidays. Most disc golf manufacturers follow a tried and true template for their lineup of plastics. They have one opaque premium blend, one translucent premium plastic, a soft putting plastic, a harder putting plastic. And from there, it's pretty common for companies to offer additional options like glow plastic, a lightweight blend, a more flexible blend, and more. However, Discraft have taken their variations even farther. So much farther. Just on their wholesale order form alone, you can choose from the following plastics. ESP, ESP Flex, X, Z, Z Light, Z Die, Big Z, Jawbreaker, Putter Line Soft, Putter Line Hard, Titanium, and their Tour Series discs, which have a different blend every year. And then you have Ledgestone. How does Ledgestone relate to Discraft's plastics? Well, let's talk about that. Ledgestone is a full-scale retail and event management group, initially started as a small charity fundraiser tournament in 2011. It now has exclusive specialty runs of Discraft discs produced in the tens of thousands. That small charity event has now raised over half a million dollars since 2014 for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, the Paul Macbeth Foundation, Edge Disc Golf, Easter Seals, and the Southside Mission. The team at Ledgestone is also responsible for some famous disc golf course designs, including the Northwoods courses, as well as Lake Eureka that make up the Ledgestone Insurance Open. The Ledgestone Insurance Open is an annual professional and amateur event that draws thousands of players and spectators to the Peoria, Illinois area. The event has grown into one of the largest and richest in all of disc golf. To help raise funds for those events, Discraft produces limited runs of discs in various plastic combinations that are not available from their stock offerings. For example, in the first wave of Ledgestone discs for 2024, which you'll be able to get at Six Sided Discs, you will find the following. Z Sparkle Luna, Full Foil Buzz, X Swirl Zone, Z Swirl Athena, Crystal Glow Flex Nuke OS, and Color Shift Raptor. None of these disc and plastic combinations are available from Discraft outside of these Ledgestone runs. And because Ledgestone releases 20 to 30 different discs per year, we're going to stick to mostly comparing Discraft's stock plastic offerings, with just a couple exceptions. We'll be throwing and comparing four roaches, six different zones, four Buzz SS, at least six Raptors, and four Avenger SS. With a nice mix of overstable, neutral, and understable discs, we're hoping to be able to pick up on some patterns of how the different plastics from Discraft affect the flight of various molds. Let's get started with the Roach. The Roach is a beadless putter rated at two speed, four glide, zero turn, and one fade. Discraft describes it as a straight shooter, perfect for putting and for approaches. We have the Roach in four different plastics, including Midnight ESP, which is essentially just a blacked out version of Discraft's opaque premium ESP plastic. We also have Big Z, a pearlescent premium blend, Putter Line Soft, a grippy base plastic, and finally Jawbreaker, a mid-grade putting plastic with a little added durability compared to the Putter Line. And let's see how they fly. The Midnight ESP Roach fits Discraft's description perfectly, flipping up to flat, holding straight for most of its flight before a subtle fade. Not too shabby. In Big Z, the Roach loses the little stability that it had, turning over and never coming back. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. If you don't have quite enough arm speed for some of the other plastics of the Roach, you might prefer the Big Z Roach. Or perhaps you would prefer Jawbreaker, which straight off the shelf is already quite understable. Or maybe the putter line plastic, which has a nice flip up before a decent fade.
pretty interesting variety of stabilities then from the Roach. Keep in mind, of course, there is going to be variation from disc to disc, and that putter line and jawbreaker will beat in much more quickly than the premium plastics. Next, let's move on to see the Zone. The Zone is Discraft's category-defining, imitator-inspiring, overstable approach disc, and one of the best-selling discs in the game. Rated at 4303, its shape and flight numbers are quickly becoming a must-have for every manufacturer. Just in the last year or two, we've seen several suspiciously similar discs hit the market, like the Innovatoro, the Lone Star Horny Toad, the Latitude 64 Savior, and more. We have the zone in six different plastics today, starting with ESP, Discraft Stock Opaque Plastic, Z, Discraft Stock Translucent Blend, Putter Blend Hard, Jawbreaker, ESP Flex, a more flexible version of ESP Plastic, and finally, Rubber Blend. The zone is not typically available in Rubber Blend. Rubber Blend is almost exclusively used for the stock Luna, but we do have a Ledgestone run of the Rubber Blend zone. And how about a little game that you all can play at home? Watch these flights of the zone one by one and see if you can rank them from least overstable to most overstable. And then we'll compare your findings with our own. Let's get started. All right, so what did you come up with? Well, from most overstable to least overstable, we begin with Z plastic and then ESP flex, ESP, rubber blend, putter line, and jawbreaker. The Z plastic was by far the most overstable, aggressively fading as soon as it left Caleb's hand. While ESP flex and ESP were both pretty overstable, And it's with Rubber Blend and Putter Line where we start to see a slight difference as they're pushing forward a bit more while fading. And finally, Jawbreaker, which has the least initial fade, combined with much more of a forward push. And it seems we have at least a small trend appearing so far, with our two Jawbreaker discs being the most understable compared to their counterparts. Let's see what we can learn from an all-premium plastic comparison of the Buzz SS. We have the Buzz SS in three plastics that we've already seen, ESP, Z, and ESP Flex. And we also have one in Z dye. Z dye is essentially just a factory dyed version of Z, but does that dye change anything about the flight characteristics? Let's find out. In Z dye, the Buzz SS flips up nicely, has a slow turn, and then finishes straight for a really nice straight flight overall. In ESP Flex, there is again a nice flip and turn and just a touch more low speed fade. The Z Buzz SS has a little more stability, flipping to flat and then holding straight for the majority of its flight. And finally, we have the ESP Buzz SS, which tries to flip up to flat, but has surprisingly more stability and holds a gentle fade the entire flight. So the results of the Buzz SS don't quite line up with what we would expect from Discraft's plastics. Most players would agree that Z plastic is usually the one that's the most consistently overstable. So let's see if that was a one-off outlier as we test the Raptor. We have the Raptor in a whole bunch of different plastics, including some that are not typically available. Starting with the 2023 Ledgestone Edition Jawbreaker Raptor, the 2022 D-Glow Edition Midnight Crystal Raptor, a limited edition Yuli stamped ESP Swirl Raptor, ESP Flex, 2022 Tour Series ESP Swirl Raptor, and finally the classic stock Z Raptor. 
Most of our Raptors were so overstable, there was very little to choose between the flights. To show you what I mean, here's all five premium plastics side by side. And as you can see, they're all just plain overstable. And of the plastics we chose, it isn't too surprising to find that Jawbreaker was much less overstable, flipping up for a big turn before getting some nice low speed fade. Maybe the Raptor is just too reliably overstable to see much of a difference in most plastics. So when choosing your next Raptor, it may be more about feel than flight as far as what's gonna work best for you. And finally, that takes us to our last disc, the Avenger SS. And once again, we have four plastics to compare, beginning with ESP and Z-Dye that we've seen in other molds, but two plastics we haven't seen with X-Line, a softer premium blend that is much less expensive than Discraft's other premium plastics, and a 2022 Ledgestone Metallic Z, which is a metal flick blend of Z plastic. And first up, let's see the ESP Avenger SS. And with minimal effort, it flips up and turns and turns and turns and turns. Wow. Next, the Z Die Avenger SS. And again, on Heiser with not a ton of power, it easily flips up, gets a big turn, but this time has just a little bit of low speed fade. So far, no surprises. The Avenger SS is pretty reliably understable. Now for Metallic Z, which flips up and doesn't turn, instead holding straight before a bit of low speed fade. Metal Flake plastic does tend to be more overstable for most companies, so maybe that's what we're seeing with the Metallic Z. Finally, that leaves X plastic, which is overstable? This came as quite a shock. Typically when we see this sort of like squishy, rubbery, bouncy plastic, it is quite a bit more understable than your average disc or your average plastic. So it was really surprising to see the Avenger SS start out so overstable in this plastic blend. Now X plastic is likely to beat in a lot faster than your average premium plastic. It's much softer and rubbery. So that might be a factor similar to how many base plastics start out a little bit overstable, but beat in very quickly. Either way, this certainly caught us by surprise. And thus concludes our comparison of Discraft plastics. Obviously, if you include the special edition runs from Ledgestone, there are so many more to try. But what did you make of our findings? Do our results line up with your own experiences? Leave a comment down below. And also comment below which company's plastics we should compare next. Remember, the plastic is in the details. For Six Sided Discs, I'm Greg. We'll see you in the next one. Z Light. And also team at Ledgestone is also the team at Ledgestone is also responsible for the event has grown into one of the largest and uh, with the Nikes Nikes hopefully the music covers up the background noise most players would agree that Z plastic is the most consistently overstable so let's see if that and also comment below what comp... Mm, 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 mm. If you like this content and want to see more, please consider liking the video, subscribing to our channel, or supporting us on Patreon. Your support makes this content possible.